Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up another slightly older thing. We got a Shards of Alara tournament deck. Uh, so there's some good stuff in this. Um, I did not play actively during this set. Um, I did play, but it was mo it was one of the more casual times of my magic career. So, anywho, let's go ahead and crack this open. Um, we've got uh, Death Baron is in this. Um, we've got some walkers. Uh, this is kind of the start of the walker thing. Um, man, this thing is giving me issues. Okay, there we go. We got it open. Let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, there we go. Now, because I usually have issue with these, I'm going to go ahead and use my handy dandy knife. No, there we go. All right. All right. Now. Pretty sure. Well, this, this one, this is the sets the um, rares and stuff are actually marked, so it's a little easier. So, all right, we got that. We'll set those aside. We got our nice little insert here. Uh, and they quit doing rule books and started going to smaller stuff. Well, hey Johnny, <laughs> good stuff there. All right, and then we got a whole bunch of just beautiful lands. I won't say these are my favorite, but they are pretty nice. If we can get focus to work here. There we go. Chippy. Good stuff. And okay, that is, I believe, a foil card. So we'll put that off to the side. As will we will our lands. Okay, because this is an older set, we're gonna slow roll uh, some of this. Man, I don't know if it's my eyes or my camera having trouble here. There we go. We got Ridge Ranit. Steel-clad serpent, and you know, if I go past anything that's actually worth a lot, and I don't say anything or worth something, let me know because it's hard to keep track of all these prices. We got excommunicate. That was a good one. Bane wasp, affliction, jungle weaver, hissing iguanar, iguanar, victus silencers, resounding silence, death greeter. Keterek Creeper, that's kind of a, what does that do, Death Touch, can't be blocked by two or more creature, what? That seems really good. Resounding Roar, Obelisk of Grixis, Resounding Scream, Bloodthorn Taunter, Knight of the Skyward Eye, Cavern Thoktar, Cancel. Obelisk of Jund, Volcanic Submission, Tortoise Formation, for real? Creatures you control gain Shroud until end of turn. I like it! Here, we'll get a close-up here if the camera will focus. Will you focus? Of course not. Yeah, anyways, that's a cool looking card. I apologize, I teased y'all with that. We got Shadow Feed, Tide Howl Strix. I think that's still a buck or two. Uh, yeah, I'll find out later. Pretty sure that's something though. That's like I said, like a buck or two. Soul's Grace, uh, Mastodon, Mastodon. Interesting. 
Uh, Wave Skimmer Avon. Gift of the Gargantuan. Outrider of Jess. Jess? Sure. Obelisk of Naya. Windright Mage. I want to say this was worth something. I could be wrong. Jund Panorama. Relic of Progenitus. There we go. That's like five, six bucks. Quasi Ambusher. All right, we are into the uncommons now. Uh, I don't know about that one. Rocks Charger. Bant Charm. The charms are still pretty good, I think. Fil Filigree Sages. Sigiled Paladin. Dawn Ray Archer. Algae Gario. I think that's what that is. All right, I think this should be our first. Oh, nope, we got one more. Exuberant Fire Stroker. No. Oh. I thought we were supposed to... Oh, oh well. Alright, we got Grixis Battle Mage, and our first rare is... Immortal Coil. Second rare is... Hey, we got the Canonist. Alright, that's up there a little bit. That's, that's 12 bucks, nothing great, but... And our last is... Stoic Angel. Well, that's unfortunate. We didn't hit any of the big ones, but we still have this guy left. What do we have for a foil... We have a Shadow Feed. All right, I, I don't think that's... Is that me or is that like insanely dark? I don't know. I'll check it out. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like we hit anything really good. Um, let me check my list here. Uh, Immortal Coil I don't think is... Yeah, it's 40, <laughs> 40 cents. Stoic Angel. Uh, it's a buck. So, I mean, not bad. Um, I did get these at a rather good price. But tell you what, between the Canonist and the Relic, I mean, that's almost value what I paid for it. So, not too shabby. I'm happy with this, how this turned out. Um, yeah, so I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, do me a huge favor, click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit the notifications button so you can tell whenever we have new videos coming up, especially we have contests that kind of come out of the blue. Speaking of contests, let's go ahead and do a contest right now. Uh, comment on this video and then uh, sometime in the next week or two we'll go ahead and take all the comments from this. We'll throw you into a uh, drawing and we'll open a, a pack of standard for you so one of you guys will win that um, but anyways yeah don't forget to turn on notifications and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again thank you very much for watching and as always you can find us on facebook and twitter chuck wagon mtg now if you do me a huge favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.